Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Chinese lantern. I'm going to take three fingers from the top in the middle and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to uh, draw a flat oval. So I draw a curved line, straight line, curved line, connect. I come on the left hand side and I draw a little straight line down on the left and a little straight line down on the right. I come back to the left and I draw a slightly curved line over, connect. I come back on the left and I'm going to draw a curved line out and then a curved line in going down and on the right hand side I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to draw a curved line down, curved line in. At the bottom, slightly curved line, connect. On the left side, I'm going to draw a little straight line down. Right side, little straight line down. Back to the left, draw a curved line, connect. Now from the bottom, I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy line. One, wavy line two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Some of you might need to draw more, some of you might draw less. I come back to the top and right there in the middle I put a dot on my flat oval and I draw a wavy line up and leave that hanging. I come on the inside and I'm going to draw slightly curved lines going down, 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 and around till I have finished that section and then I'm going to draw curved lines, curved line all the way across to divide this up into separate sections. Now everybody's is going to maybe look a little bit different but that's fine. Curved lines all the way across. Keep going. Keep going. All the way across. I think I can fit one more teeny tiny row. There we go. Okay, now I come back up to the top and I'm going to make a decorative border. So I draw a little curved line, little curved line, bigger curved line, little curved line, bigger curved line, little curved line, all the way across, however many you can fit in, just to give my top of my lantern a little decorative border all the way across. Now we're ready to color. This is super easy to color because I'm only using two. I'm using a bright yellow and on the bottom I'm going to mimic the lines in between with that light yellow, bright yellow crayon. This section needs to be bright yellow this section needs to be bright yellow and so does all of these little border pieces all the way across. Once I've done that I take my red crayon and I color in each of the little sections of the lantern all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Now this might take a little bit of time, but it's worth it once you see the finished product all the way down. Now, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Here's my Chinese lantern all colored in. They look really nice cut out and um, a row and a row and a row of all everybody's Chinese lanterns in a room makes a great bulletin board. Okay, bye-bye.